sailing fans. Back in Lava Martis, it's been a little while for us. Yeah, but here we are, I'm Tropic Angel here. And I'm Loomis. I'm at the controls for the moment. Yeah, so I'm providing insightful and distracting commentary in equal measure. <laughs> so yes, we've got um, two plots to do. One involves hunting yet more demons, and the other involves going to Sweden to find artifacts. Sweden's dangerously close to Scotland. Exactly. Though. So yes, <laughs> we'll avoid that at all costs. I mean, it's probably fine if the artifact's in the hand of an evil cult or something, right? Yeah, I mean, when, once we got it, I'm not entirely sure it won't be in the hands of an evil cult anyway. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> who knows who we are? Hmm. Quest of forty-five. Hmm. I'm suddenly rethinking that one. Yeah. Quest difficulty five. Hmm, quest difficulty three. <laughs> we don't believe these crimes were committed by human hands. No. Yeah, well, let's let's do a little warm up. Yeah. I mean, we like Louisiana. <laughs> yeah. Back to sorting inanimate objects. That feels good. Yeah, exactly. And as we recall, this guy does not have functional hands except when they're holding a weapon. Yeah. Hey, look, I, uh, I, I've already forgotten the detailed description I gave that in a comment. Uh, <laughs> some sort of machine gun. Well, the, the point was that it wasn't a machine gun because it's um, it's got a hand crank on it for the barrels. It's a Gatling gun. It's kind of a Gatling gun, except Gatling gun is a brand name. Yeah. I'm not sure it was made by the uh, Gatling Corporation. We call it a Gatling gun, we could get sued. Uh, it resembles, but for copyright reasons, it's legally distinct from the Gatling gun. Exactly. Guys, leave me alone, I'm shooting fires. Am I already dead? Apparently. Holy crap. Yeah, how did that happen? <laughs> that didn't last very long. No. I'm, I'm gonna call a mulligan on that one and try and start over. Yeah, I, I think that's acceptable. I even managed to smash up the curse things. That's what I get for rambling on about guns instead of paying attention. Ah, well. <laughs> I'm sure people come here for our, you know, <laughs> discussions on weapon based trivia. These are the only guns that two gun Clive needs. Two revolvers. Yeah. He doesn't approve of these two handed weapons. Hey, sir. There we go. Curse broken. So. That was a lot easier. You should watch out for werewolves in future. Yeah, well, it's tough. Someone's probably invading their home and trying to kill them. And they're taking exception to it. Which is frankly outrageous. Thanks, Stanley. If we're too gun Clyde, we're allowed to go where we like. <laughs> and kill what we like. Yeah. We've probably got all kinds of legal authority. Exactly. We're part of the, um... The Order. The Order of Just Us. Hmm. Never seen another member. Yeah, we're, we're the last living person yeah. on the whole planet, I'm pretty sure of this. We all know Two Gun Clyde was actually born holding two guns. Shot his way out of his mother's womb, he did. The police suspect that the murders here weren't done by human hands because Two Gun Clyde was elsewhere at the time. Yes, and. We all know he's the last living soul, or indeed person in the world. Mm -hmm. That was underwhelming. It's one of those games where the shotgun's a melee weapon. Well, you know they are pretty short range, but... It kind of depends what you load them with. Yeah, because you can do slugs, and as I recall, they go further. Yeah. Generally, if you've got a shotgun in a game, but designed for burst. Yeah, I think that's historically how they work in games. A lot of damage here. Do we have any healing, healing items in this game or not? 
I can't remember. Uh, we just have regeneration. Ah, yes. Let me change to a better. We can't star them, unfortunately. Yeah, maybe I should start using the real weapon. I use the non machine gun. Teleport. Okay. See, I don't have no respect for this guy. These are demons, I guess, rather than undead, so. It's not the one of the settings where undead are a kind of demon. I don't know, I'm not entirely sure the metaphysics of this setting, it seems to be rather um, left to player interpretation. You're inside the field agent, not a researcher. I can't expect him to know these things. Yeah, the research is done by his um, friend and brother, two books wide. <laughs> off -line. Two book wide, huh? Interestingly enough, we never see two book wide and two gun wide together in the same room. I'm just blowing on how that's a really unsatisfactory library. Yeah. It's no wonder nobody knows what's going on. Yeah, so interesting, I don't think either of the books that are actually do with demons. <laughs> There's a book on beetroot and a book on potatoes in there. It's just what he had lying around yeah. at the time. However, they're all like leather bound and stuff, so it makes him look, you know. Smart. I think that's the important thing. Yeah, the watchers council we ain't. <laughs> See what Clyde needs to establish his credentials as a researcher by looking very smart. I do wonder with like a cool research, they actually come from here with you. It might be difficult to do. Yeah. Yes, it's most of your peers are probably mad. Dead. That's some of these First time this explode. Why wouldn't I? It's probably a reload button, but it's easy to I'll have another shot. There is a reload button, but I can't remember what it is. You've had bad experiences pressing buttons before. Yeah. I mean, a sound strategy is just to keep shooting until everything stops moving. It's here a moment ago. Oh, the coffin's respawning now. Yeah, that, that's, that's not unsettling at all. Double barrel. Does it count as two guns? Oh yes, it's two guns joined together. I think it's um, I think that's an appropriate. Hey, mm -hmm. what Jude and Clyde really needed was to be more berserk. I think that's probably the best thing to describe you someone in circles. Yeah, because he's quite close in, you can sort of um, clear the room with enemies. Look at that, Imps. I still think this sword sounds more like a whip. Yeah! Than a sword. I was going to say that, it's like, why is he. Oh, wait, is this. And not even like a dramatic bit, more like a, um... Uh, yeah, see. <laughs> I, will refer, I, will, I will refer our viewers to the scene from the Lord of the Rings animated movie, The Unscary Balrog. Okay, it's kind of weird. Wild whips going... Instead of actually making a whip noise. It's not exactly hard to get hold of them. I guess. Like, yeah, you'd think they could get a, a whip sound effect, but you'd also think they could get a sword sound effect. Exactly. So. <laughs> I 
do wonder if the uh, sword used to be a weapon until like five minutes before they released the game. Yeah, and then decided the sword was better, so <laughs> also less copyright infringing. <laughs> No, there's too much chaos and carnage to actually work out. Yeah, who's got manic all of a sudden? You know that um, Tomb Raider was originally going to be about a guy with a whip raiding tombs? Yeah, fighting Nazis. Yeah. Then someone discovered there was a film series already about that. Right, I think they spoke to their lawyers about it and decided to go as far away from the um, yeah. professor with a whip as they could. Yeah. This is all new equipment, fans. This is all stuff we already have. I think so. Let's just better versions of what we've got. Let's try the equipment room. Maybe we've just got spares now. Ah. Good old six shooters. Six shooters, shotguns. Wooden sake, lucky charm, cursed nail. Yeah, I don't see anything new here. Still got the naval cannon. Uh, yes, the most practical of weapons. Mm -hmm. Never go anywhere without a cannon. No. Didn't I just do this mission? Oh, there's apparently some left. Um, the caves in the woods are occupied by an unknown horror. Other people say that that's where Tuga and Clyde is hanging around, causing trouble. They may or may not be the same. They may or may not be related. Looks like there's some new missions over here. Uh, wealthy contractor. Monster champions. Right, let's go mm. and defeat whatever the rich unearthed. <laughs> uh, I think it's your turn, so we'll uh, swap yeah. over. Let's go and see what the rich have done wrong. Typical greedy undead, amassing riches to decorate their tombs. Exactly. Those riches should be distributed to the living. <laughs> I.e. Oh, yes. The last of the living. Uh, just a minute, I've not played this for a while, so I'm just re familiarising myself with the controls. Yeah, it's WASD and then the number keys change weapon. Left and left. Um, ah. Ah. That's everywhere. I'm gonna get killed by bats. <laughs> I mean, that's just embarrassing. Yeah, at least when I got brutally murdered 30 seconds in, it was by like werewolves. a fleet of werewolves. Unlike, you know, sodding <laughs> bats. <laughs> yeah, that would have been uh, that would have been more embarrassing. Ah, bloating zombies. <laughs> Typical zombies polluting the environment. I'm sure there's a political commentary here. I mean, maybe not, but you can always turn things into political commentary. Okay, we got a key. Hooray! Let's see what some. Um, the old six shooters. Mm -hmm. there. Ah. Well, that ain't good. Oh, no. What the heck are these? I don't know, they slow me down. Tires? Banshees? I think these are the enemy champions they were talking about. Yeah. Must, you must kill ten champions. <laughs> kind of rather not, actually. <laughs> At least these things are easy to circle around. Yeah, they're not that hard, they're just packing nasty poison. <laughs> I think next time we encounter those champions, though, we go straight for the cannon. Yeah, that makes sense. Now we know what they are. Come on. We say now that we know what they are. I think there was some kind of vampire. Aha. Okay, so we've got one more room to the east. Ah. 
Ah, duck. Those things are shrug off the cannonballs, huh? Yeah. Right. It's not good times. Take a new strategy. Let's run away. <laughs> Let's go somewhere else. <laughs> ah, Switzerland. Local nobility are contact contact just because they are doing terrible things on their land. Fair enough. See, this is our job. We go around cleaning up the messes of the undead aristocracy. Yeah. I mean, I ask you, where's the justice in that? Yeah, where, where's equality? You know, we we wouldn't be we wouldn't be doing this kind of work if there was equality in the world. You know, maybe if like like half the world's riches were in the hands of the undead and half of it were in the hands of the last living person, yeah, exactly. i.e., us. Be a nice, well distributed, fair and just system. I do wonder what Marxist take is on zombies. <laughs> I'm not sure, but um Yeah, I've never been known to comment on the matter. Uh, I mean I guess zombies are a bit like automation. In that in theory make your life a lot easier, but will probably just you know steal your job. Yeah. These things just don't want to die, do they? No. Ah. Ooh. Look at that. We just picked up a flamethrower. Yep. Okay. You know, I had thought maybe we'd got all of our weapons, but uh. Oh, right, sorry, oh, they don't. Missed one. You know what, this is actually a lot of fun, flame and beam, isn't it? Yeah. Better conserve some ammo there, I guess. It's a crowd control weapon. So if you want to use it here, I won't say no, because these things do a lot of damage by the looks of them. But they're also on fire. He's suggesting that things that are typically on fire may be resistant to fire weapons. You would assume so, but... <laughs> I've got no evidence for that, I'm just sort of, you know, speculating on it. Well, I figure the natural level of fire is probably the sort of the highest tolerance, yeah. you know? If they were okay with more fire, they'd probably be more on fire. Yeah. Ah, that showed you. So yeah, a bit more fire probably overloads them and they can't deal with it anymore. I mean, depends. I mean, you could set a zombie on fire. They're not necessarily flame resistant, but you know, they. Because you know, the fact that lots of flesh or whatever. Let's try to sneak around while those spiders are stuck. Yeah, you probably want to fire ties to summoning circles. Oh. <sighs> Please tell me it's not doing this again. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, we want to be destroying the uh, summoning things first, so otherwise the enemies just respawn. There we go. Now we can wipe them out. All of them. You know what? Need a bit of pest control. This is a lot of spiders. They keep coming to them. The eggs. Destroyed the summoning circle. You go months without seeing a flame car and then two come along at once. Exactly. But now we need. I do like the idea of flame cars. They make me feel like a proper monster hunter. Okay. Monsters notoriously don't like being set on fire. No. 
And again, I think that's just rather unreasonable behaviour. Stay still. Don't have much help. This guy. That guy almost finished us. This may not just be a commentary on my, you know, quality rather than <laughs> any. Yeah, I don't know if I want to start using the phone anymore. Yeah, so I probably should, since you know, if nothing else, we have a neighbour. Oh no! Oh, oh, it'll save there anyway, so. <laughs> Yeah, we're not having, not having as much luck as I remember us having with this game. No. <laughs> so I think we'll take a break there. Yeah, take a break, we'll, uh, and we'll see you next time. We'll see you.